Okay, welcome back to another lesson on learning JavaScript. We are going to talk about code comments. Now, generally in a course, I put code comments first, but frankly, they're boring. Unfortunately, they're also super useful and it makes sense to learn them. And so I sort of wanted to defer that and get to some of the funner stuff before we get into, you know, things that are not as fun like code comments. So at this point, if you don't know what a code comment is, you should be asking, Caleb, what is a code comment? Well, a code comment is basically a way to take a piece of code that you've written and tell your browser not to execute it. So I have an example here, console log comment one and two. And if I refresh my page, we'll just see comment one and two. In fact, let's make two show up four times. So we've got comment one and then two, 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 and two. So let's say we have a bunch of code in here on one line and we don't want it to be executed at all. We say, hey, JavaScript, don't execute it. And all we do is we put one slash with another slash together. And that creates a single line comment. So if I save this and refresh, comment one no longer shows up in here. Now, when it comes to multi-line comments, most editors, you can hit like a command slash, so it's like CMD plus slash, or if you're on Windows, it's usually control slash, something like that. And you can select all of these, these lines and you can comment them all out at the same time. But that's not a multi-line comment. That's commenting out every single line individually. So if we wanted to get rid of all of them, we would do slash and then an asterisk. And then at the end, we would do an asterisk and then a slash. And this will comment out everything between these two points. And so if you remove the space, you'll see my code goes gray. And that's going to keep going on forever and ever and ever. So if I do console, you can see that my code is still gray here. Console.log, do I show up? And let's get rid of that one. Oh, look at that. There's actually a syntax error because the comment was never closed. But if we do asterisk and then a slash right after, that's saying, hey, everything between here, just comment it out. So save, refresh, and do I show up? Yes, you do. You do show up because all the other lines are commented out. So let's view our page source. And we can see there's a comment here and there is a comment, a multi-line comment here, getting rid of all of number two. You can also comment out the end of a line as well. So instead of just having a comment at the very beginning, you could have a comment after it. So you could say if our name is equal to Caleb. And then if you wanted to make a code note, a code comment, you could put two slashes afterwards and say, this is my name. And that's not going to execute either. But as someone, as another developer looks at your code and says, var name, what is that supposed to be? What kind of name? Is it supposed to be a person's name? And you say, this is my name. All right, well, I know that's the developer's name now. So I can refresh and it just says, like every time I refresh, do I show up? Yep, you do show up. And when I refresh this, var name is Caleb. And let's make sure that it still works. Let's go in here and type in name. Name is Caleb. Ha ha, look at that. And anything over here to the right of your double slashes is not going to show up. That's going to be commented out. So moving forward, you're going to see me doing a lot more code comments. This is a really good way of writing a bunch of code that does not actually need to execute. And it's also a really good way of just like testing things out. So if you want to console log something and you're not sure if you're going to use it later, just comment it out or uncomment, comment, uncomment, comment, uncomment. That's all there is to code comments. Not super, super interesting as a topic to learn about, but very, very important. And you're going to see this all over the place. In every single programming language, you will see code comments everywhere.